welcome back to another one and today to take a look at probably the best video converter for mac os we have seen in the past the best for windows i will leave a link right over here so that you can check it out and today we are talking about a tool that will be able to compress videos and i'll give you a real example that i did a four gigabyte video file turned into 143 megabytes and a two gigabyte file to 23 megabytes so in my opinion, it is probably the best video compressor out there. I will leave a link down below, just next to the link for KeysFan. Just in case you haven't activated your Windows license yet, you will be able to find official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description, you will get an extra discount. Now, talking about Mac X Video Converter, Pro. The link will be down below so that you can download, try it for yourself if you enjoy it or not. But it has some capabilities that are really interesting. My favorite is the video compression because in an example that you have a low internet speed, you will be able to transform a 4 gigabyte file into 100 and something megabytes and then upload it to the web really really fast this is an example that i do believe that makes a huge difference on the life of someone that uploads video every single day like i do for example now in terms of conversion we will be able to convert roughly to 370 formats i didn't count them all but i did read it on the website which i will leave the link down below we are talking about mp4 mkv avi flv hevc h264 mov and a lot more they promise to do a compression of 90 percent without losing quality and the truth is that I did not see any image degradation from the original and the compressed but I will talk about that in just a few moments I did try it with four files I did choose them randomly because I've got quite a few video files right over here four gigabyte file ended up with 143 megabytes in mp4 hvec the two gigabyte file it ended up with 23 megabytes bytes in FLV. The 1.36 gigabyte file ended up with 368 megabytes and this was in M4V and finally the 2.76 gigabyte file finished up with 644 megabytes in MP4 format. So these were some awesome results that we could achieve especially that one that we could get 23 megabytes now in terms of the image quality i cannot see any difference from the original 4k file to the compressed 4k file i forgot to mention that we are dealing with 4k just like i'm recording at this moment right now and i did not see any difference at all from the original file and to the output file which was a lot smaller the example that i was checking was the 4 gigabyte file to 143 but the others were exactly the same no quality loss on the process actually the file had to be changed and they have on their algorithm the secret sauce to remove the unnecessary information but what we need to see with our eyes is kept one of the things that i really enjoy in this hardware and any other hardware is the capability to use our hardware at the most and one of the things that you could check out on the process was that it was using the m1 max on my mac studio at almost 100 percent and this is great news because when we get a computer we want to take full advantage of that computer we don't want the software to take advantage only of 20 percent one of the comparisons that i usually do is with one of my favorite softwares which is handbrake but it's not able to use the hardware as it should now in this comparison we could see that handbrake only uses about 80 percent of my hardware which is wasting roughly 20 percent of the time so it takes longer and the end result is not as good as what we get with mac x video converter pro which gives us a really high compression with really high quality now besides the compression and conversion which is my favorite mac x video converter pro also does a few more features first it does the screen recorder we can record the full screen 
or we can record the part of the screen and this was the part that interested me more because I can just select a window for example and it will show me the resolution that I'm recording at the bottom right corner. Besides that, we can record our image from a webcam. For example, I was using the webcam on my MacBook Pro M1 Pro. And besides that, we can also edit several clips into one single video file. So this will be great if we have a lot of single small video clips and we want to turn it to a quick video, a longer video, then we just put it there, uh, rearrange the order and bam, that is it. Finally, we can also do some adjustments in terms of editing. And let's say that I'm using Mac X Video Converter for everything. And if I want to adjust clips, probably I don't want to use any other tool. So Mac X video converter as the tool or the capability to adjust some settings like volume for example we can also add subtitles we can trim the video which basically will allow me to tell this is where the video will start and this is where the video will end we can also cut the video really easy and a very nice way so anyone will be able to work with these tools and finally if you want to add some watermark you will be able to do so Lastly, they also have a tool right over here, which is the slideshow tool. Basically, we'll create a basic slideshow. Sorry for the redundancy. We just need to put in the photos right over there, and then it will make a slideshow with a crossfade. And basically, that is it. It will output a MP4 file. And that is it. So, Mac X Video Converter Pro. Is it the best conversion compression tool for Mac OS in terms of video? In my opinion, probably yes. I have reviewed quite a few tools and this one is the one that both on Windows and also on Mac gave me the best results so far. Especially having in mind that we can compress huge files to small files without losing quality and then upload them to the web like I will be doing so in just a few moments after editing this video. And if the video was helpful in some way, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, today with Mac X Video Converter Pro, which I will leave the link down below. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.